Oh, what an adventure! <laughs> Get lost with Google Maps. Good morning, everybody. All right, today I'm going to talk about batteries and wiring and I'm going to explain a little bit about the wiring and the fusing and um, you can see me uh, this is for in the back of the ute to make my camp a bit more um, so we can take the ute for overnight camps okay so my new battery come here now this is a new 10 kilo one it's um, only 10 kilos it is, as you can see there, this is what you call a true 100 amp hour battery. Not only is the battery rated at 112 volts, 100 amp hours, but the uh, internal um, electronics will let you draw 100 amp hours out of it. You can get higher than that. Um, you can get some that'll do up to 250 amp hours in, in some batteries, okay? But, what you have to look at, a lot of uh, online sellers, especially on eBay, are saying they're a 100 amp hour battery, and when you get them, they're only a 70 or an 80 amp hour battery, but they've got the 100 amp hour draw. Are they lying? Well, not really, because they're not saying you can only draw 100 amp hours or anything off it. They're just um, not telling the full truth. So, and that makes batteries like this look more expensive than, than what they actually are. They're, they're a fairly cheap battery. Now, you see here, it's got a minimum of 2,000 cycles, right? That's at 100% discharge. Okay, if you only use the top 20 or 30% out of this battery, you will get 8,000 cycles out of it. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> And um, this is, you, you know, now I back products that don't pull any punches, like, like you know, with good after-sales service and um, a reliable uh, Australian stock, fast shipping, all that sort of stuff. And I've had these batteries in a lot of really rough off-road um, areas in the trailer. I've got two of these sitting in my trailer. The springs on the trailer are fairly stiff. I do let the tires down when I get the really rough corrugations, but they get a rough ride and they're going pretty good. They haven't um, uh, folded out. They're, they're performing absolutely beautiful. And this is why I went for another one for the back of the ute. Absolutely brilliant battery. I cannot recommend it enough. All right, let's talk about wiring. First of all, um, I bought this off eBay, it's uh, five switches, a voltmeter, a um, USB outlet, and a 12 volt socket. Okay. Now, why did I buy this? Certainly not for the wiring, because the wiring's just rubbish on it. Um, I bought it because I couldn't buy all these parts for the price they wanted for this whole unit. Um, now, why am I saying the wire, wiring's rubbish? Okay, it's got two red wires, all right, and two black wires. Now, the red wires, okay, go to a socket, which is usually a 20 amp, and it goes to a usually a 6 amp, or it can be up to 6 amp, depending if it's a... Uh, well, it's not, this one's... Um, uh, 3.1 amp USB outlet and a voltage gauge on one wire okay that's not too bad that's not too bad you could put a 20 amp fuse on that and you're okay the point is here you've got five switches okay and like if you've got lights on one um, fridges on the other and something else on the other, you're pulling lots of lots of different amps through different switches. Okay. Now, if, you, if you're pulling, let's say you're, you've got an angle fridge and you're pulling 
um, six to eight amps, depending on the size of it, start up amperage, and then they usually drop down to 2.5 or 4. Now, if you haven't got the right size shoes and the, and the right wiring, chances are if anything goes wrong, you're going to have a wiring. And you've got a 20 amp fuse here, and you've only got wire rated to 10 amps going to the unit, then chances are that wire is going to catch on fire before this fuse blows. Okay? So what I do is I pull all this red off. All this I pull all off, the whole lot. And now this is a fuse block I had down the shed. It's the same fuse block I put in the uh, 12 volt in the power room, only it's a slightly bigger. Um, and if you blow a fuse, that light comes on for the fuses. So I'm going to be wiring through a fuse block into this. And off the battery, I have this old, um, this is a heavy duty. Um, 50 amp uh, circuit breaker, a switched one, okay? Uh, this is a heavy duty one, not a light duty one. All right, and it's, it's rated at 50 amps at 48 volts maximum. Um, and I've tested this one. I've had this sitting in my shed for probably six years. All right, so I'm gonna be using that on the battery to um, limit the output to 50 amps because I can't, this is on the car, I can't see myself using over 50 amps. And <coughs> if I am, then I'll just replace it with a fuse later on. But for now, I'm just gonna use that. Now, uh, where this is gonna be positioned in the box, um, I actually, like the other one in the trailer, I, I just simply cut these and put fuses in between them, okay? However, where this one's gonna be mounted, I don't have that option. So I'm going to be uh, using the fuse block. Uh, this fuse block, by the way, is um, rated at a 100 amp fuse block, meant to be. Um, I wouldn't put that through it, but that's what's meant to go through it. I don't think it's the main uh, bus bar there is heavy enough for 100 amps. All right, so, but that's just me. Here we go. I'm not, um, I don't even know who made this product. I've got no idea who made this product, none at all. All right. Um, this is made, I bought this through Blue Sea. It's, uh, there's a registered trademark there. Uh, and I call it a MRCB. All right. All right. Oh, these ones, these, these heavy duty ones are these, all right, um, uh, which are designed for continuous use, are excellent, okay? All right, so that, that's what I'm doing on the wiring. I got the box outside on the ute. I'll show you the boxes real quick. Because uh, I've actually got a, I've actually got a, and my next step is to uh, put this connector on the battery and then plug it into the uh, camper trailer and uh, turn the charger on so I can ch get that battery, make sure it's fully charged before use. You should do that with all batteries, by the way. Um, lithium, lead acid, doesn't matter. You should uh, make sure they're always fully charged before you use. This is the back box where my electronics and my water filter and everything's going in. This one here. And the switching is going to be coming in up here somewhere. I haven't really decided. Uh, this is the side box that's for our clothes and this is the uh, my side box where I put all my tools and you can notice I've got it a bit further back I put all my tools and stuff in here and we've mounted the spare tires up the front because I've tried to get the weight off the back of the ute okay and before the spare tires sat right down on the back of the ute so, and we had a big toolbox across the front here, which meant I had hardly any weight at the front and all the weight was at the back of the ute. Um, 
So what I'm trying to do now is we've got the spare tyres, we've got all the jerry cans here instead of right back here where they were last time. And I'm trying to move the weight, it's a bit windy today, as far forward as I can. And um, yeah, we put new matting in. And in the middle there, there's just going to be another box. Um, and that's about it. And, and yeah, I think that's about it. Everything else is in the trailer. But the water filter, everything else is gone in this huge box here. And uh, you can see it's just, just fits. Just fits. All right, so there's a bit of an update. I'm going to uh, get to work on the um, charging that battery, I think. Yeah. All right, that's it. A um, bit of an update. I'll uh, come back when I, I've got the box built and I start wiring it all.